lives. We're screwed up, but I have a solution, okay? We're going to Florida. It's gonna be so much fun. Come in the middle there. Hurricane Cindy has taken a bit of a turn at redirecting us. Welcome to the St. Louis Sheraton. I do hope you'll consider yelping us. Oh. Since we're gonna be stuck here, you guys wanna get a drink later on tonight? Did one dance? Your boob is hanging out! Meg's an expert at pulling off a dress. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Achity. That's Christy Lemire talking about The Layover, a uh, sex comedy road trip. I think movie with yeah. uh, Alexandra Daddario and Kate Upton yeah. and directed by William H. Macy. Yeah, that's confusing to me. Um, yeah. it, you want to tell us about it? Uh, so, so Kate Upton and Alexandra Daddario are best friends. They are total opposites. Kate Upton is um, promiscuous and profane and uh, she's a con artist and she's a lot of fun to be around. And Alexandra Daddario is a high school English teacher with all the cliches that you would attach to that kind of character in a lazy movie like this, that she is uptight and she's cautious and she's like the stable one of the two of them. But they've been best friends since grade school and they live together. And when they both are at a point of crisis in their careers, they go on a trip from Seattle to Fort Lauderdale. I'm sorry, like you have the airline points or whatever to go someplace fun on vacation. You go like diagonally across the country to shitty Fort Lauderdale. I don't know why. There's, you can just go up to Vancouver. That's a fun city. It's a quick drive. So um, they go on vacation, but during their flight out to Fort Lauderdale, um, there's a hunky dude who sits in the seat between them, in the middle seat, and they both start flirting with him. And then they all get stuck in St. Louis for a layover, hence the name, because of a hurricane. Not a great time for a hurricane comedy. Um, and then they flirt with him more, and it ruins their friendship, and it's hilarious. Take a look. For that man. Anybody got in my way, I kill him. I kill you, I kill you, I kill everyone. <laughs> Whoa! I take Krav Maga, but why? That was a straight up kill shot. You took a fucking kill shot at me? In the door. So I was so angry watching this movie. This movie is like every single misogynistic cliche about women and their friendships and their inability to be loyal to each other because it will always be bros before hoes or whatever, if I may use that phrase inappropriately in this context. But the idea that like best friends would destroy each other over some blandly handsome dude that they've just met. And I mean, it gets, it gets grody, it gets gnarly, it gets like knocked down drag out over this guy and I did not believe a single second of it, and I found it totally offensive as a woman. Uh, yeah. And as a person who likes movies. <laughs> so, amongst the problems with this movie, so first many. of all, it follows Girl's Trip, right? Right. Which is a great movie, right? About female friendships. Mm -hmm. and, and how they change. And how they change, yeah, and how they stay together, mm -hmm. and how they evolve, mm -hmm. and those are real characters. This one. I think this movie struggles to pass the Bechdel test. Mm -hmm. That's um, true. What do they ever talk about? Yeah, the dude. And um, when it's not about no, the dude, they, they do talk about no, other stuff. They talk about The Bachelor. They watch The yeah. Bachelor a lot and they drink a lot of Chardonnay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's also so, a guy they're talking um, about. I'm not, it, let's see. Another problem. You don't cast Alexandra Daddario mm -hmm. as the frumpy one. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, right? But I, she has her moments to like get into a bikini and be yeah, sexy. Yeah, right. And then when she's. And if she's supposed to be the uptight, stayed one, the costumer didn't get that note, consistently mm -hmm. at least, because she ends up dressing just as sexy sometimes yeah. as Kate Upton, mm -hmm. um, which is frustrating because I would watch these two. I think there's some little bit of chemistry there that could have been built on with a better script and kind of weirdly disappointed with William H. Macy's direction here. I would call it workmanlike. Yeah. It's, at best. This, you Sorry, know, this Bill. is written by a couple of guys who- Of course it is. This is written Women by- Women wouldn't write these characters. Well, it's written by David Hornsby and Lance Kroll, who've mm -hmm. written uh, 
some a lot of sitcoms. Um, one of them's written Clearly. on uh, "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia," mm -hmm. which is a funny show. Mm -hmm. um, which has a horrible female character who is funny but feels like a person. Right. Right. This one, yeah, this one's just kind of a mess. And what's there's moments in here that you see glimpses of the movie that this could have been. I, you know, for as much as she's miscast and the script is fairly awful. <laughs> Alexandra Daddario can do comedy, and she there. She wasn't bad in Baywatch. She wasn't bad in Baywatch. Mm -hmm. She is willing to do things for comedy, and she's she's got the timing, mm -hmm. she's got the persona. Mm -hmm. You know, there's I mean, as much as the scene preceding it is so awful when she's hosing herself down and she's uh. screaming in anger about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I looked at that and I thought, okay, please give that woman a real comedy yeah. script, okay. and for that matter. Kate Upton is not the biggest problem in this movie. Mm -hmm. Like she does this kind of half in the bag, breezy mm -hmm. character that's dopey, and I kind of bought that she was doing that. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, there are, there are worse examples of models trying to get into right. uh, movies. Kelly Ireland. Right. Um, she seems game for whatever comes her way, at least. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's not afraid to look stupid or ridiculous. Right. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But that being said, there's a lot of characters, there's a lot of actors in here that you kind of think, oh, well, I guess Macy must be fun and a nice guy because like Maybe. Cal Penn's in this for a minute, Molly yeah. Shannon's in this for oh, a right. minute, um, Rob Corddry. Uh, yeah, I, this movie's a mess. Yeah, and, 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 and also, but yes, and so it is, if I may go harp back on the unkind with women point that I was making earlier, there's a woman who comes in at the end, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there's like one final female character that we meet who is Awful. She is a nag, and she is emasculating, and um, it's just an example of like how this movie has zero affection or charity or kindness for any of the women involved here. She's, right. She's the absolute worst. They save the absolute worst for last. Even like the Molly Shannon character, who we think is lo fun loving and kind, right. there's something squirrely going on with her situation too. Yeah, and yeah. and you kind of think, you know, this is a movie that is not. And look, if it was consistently that nasty to everybody, that might be forgivable. But you know, the Matt Jones character, who we've seen in Breaking Bad, he was like the taller of the tweaker idiot guys that um, I never watched. That, oh, that Jesse knew. Uh, he's kind of a decent, real character um, in a way that almost nobody else in this movie is. And yeah, this movie, this movie sucks. It does. It, it does suck. It and made me angry. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks, <laughs> and it's a waste of a perfectly good cast. Yeah. The premise is all wrong, like look, okay, let's be honest, real talk here. <laughs> you need to get out of town from Seattle, and right. no, you're not going to Fort Lauderdale, no, you're, you're going to fucking Vegas. You can go to Vegas, like or, Southwest flies. Right. You're going to Vegas. Los Maybe Angeles. Bear, right, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, you're not going, I mean. Why are you schlepping across the country? Nothing against Fort, Fort Lauderdale. No, I, I've been there for a bachelorette party and it sucks. Also. It's not fun. Speaking of that, okay, here's the <laughs> Sorry, other. Sorry, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, right, <laughs> can't go to Fort Lauderdale because there's a hurricane, but then get there. And man, Fort Lauderdale looked good. Did it. Post hurricane, like that's not what it looks yeah. like after a hurricane. As, I'm sorry. We, as we now know, as sadly. We now know. So, um, yes, everything is wrong with it. Nothing makes sense. My it's score's all... too high. Okay, well, yeah, then you please talk change me your down. score. Please change your uh, score. Two and a half. Okay, so I'm saying one, and he's saying two and a half. Right. So, what's that? So, 1.8. Yeah. I just did math. See, girls are smart right and useful. On. Okay, so 1.8 is our number. And it does not have a score yet, because no. I think the embargo is probably tomorrow, Friday, yeah. the day it comes out. So this is um, like the epitome of like shitty, sneaked in, end of summer comedy. Right. It is totally offensive in every way. Please don't see it. Please give everyone in this movie a better script, and, <laughs> and see then what we'll happens. Talk. Bye.